Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. This might be episode 3, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's go outside and see how our crops are growing. Oh, it looks like our parsnips are done. Isn't that great? And our journal's been updated. What's been updated in our journal? Oh yay, we got some money for our parsnips being done. It's currently the 5th, so I think we want to spend our money probably still on beans, which basically are better if you plant them nearer the start because they re repeatedly grow. I'm not sure what these are. I can't remember what I planted here because I'm not that smart. But let's just, let's see if we can sell those to the shopkeeper actually. Okay, what's this? Advertisement, I keep finding cool stuff. So this is an advert for the bigger backpack, that's cool. So I think we'll start out by watering our beans, then we'll go buy some more beans to plant and then we'll go have a little bit of a forage I think because didn't wasn't there something on the new on the TV about loads of wild horse radish or radish or something like that maybe I'm not entirely sure but let's go have a look down at see there's not much water worth what are these I can't remember Wait, there's more mail didn't I just check that oh there's a new one there's another one our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake I'd like to remind you that... Oh good, I think this might mean that we can go to the mine now. That's good. We should be able to go to the... Wait, where, where was it? Was it by the lake, you said? I think... I don't know. I think it was by... I think he means the mine. I think that was the area it was. I could be wrong. But I want to do a bit more crops first. Why is this leaping? New raising animals, build a coop. Robin can build me a coop. I can reach farming level one. Crows can eat my crops, that's not good. Ah uh, yes, it won't even be open quite yet, will it? That's not good. I kind of want it to be open. What time does it open? Open nine, what's this? This is the birthdays, nothing happening yet, what's this? Buy one daffodil, I don't have any daffodils. Anyway, I really should start gifting people things, but I'm not quite ready to start bothering doing that yet. Let's go have a look up here to see if it was the mine that has been cleared. Since I have a, hour, an hour to kill before I can actually go to the shop and buy some more beans. What is up around here? The mine is this way, isn't it? Oh, here we go, something foraged. Forage is actually worth a decent amount of money in my opinion. There we go. So, you know, if you just see the occasional thing, you should pick it, of course. Here's Linus, let's have a nice chat. Please don't destroy my tent. Why would I do that? Oh, poor Linus. He's not very good with people. He's not much of a people person. It was here. Look, we can go to the mine now. What's in here? Probably a cutscene. Yes. Let's have a look at this cutscene. There's a weird old guy looking down a hole. Hmm does he want? I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place, undisturbed for so long. Oh yeah, nice dark and disturbed places. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Really? Here, take this, you might need it. Ooh, he's gonna give me some really old rusty sword. Uh, thanks I guess. You received a rusty sword, yay! Rusty. Kill them with tetanus or something. Name's Marlon, by the way. I run the Adventures Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you, prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Cool, so I think the mine is now open. So, I mean, I don't really have any inventory space right now, so I don't really want to do that today. I think maybe tomorrow, after I've done this crops and I'm going to do a bit more foraging today, I think the next day I can go and uh, make after watering my crops just my old day might be a possibility. I'm not sure. But it sounds like a good idea to me. So anyway, the shop's now open. Why is this still flashing? Explore the mine. Cool. I've got a quest for exploring the mine as well. What was up here again? This is some old boarded up hall. It's locked. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Who a thing. Daffodils. All the monies. Let's get all the monies by foraging, see? These are all worth an okay amount of money, I reckon. Enough to make it worth my time, I think. 
What was the exclamation mark? Oh yeah, the daffodil. I don't want to press there. Okay, shopping time. How much is this backpack? 2,000 gold. I don't have that much. Not right now, mate. Yes, you will buy my parsnips. Good. Will you buy that? You will. You'll buy all these. That's great. Now I can buy a ton of beans. I think it's a good plan. Because they take 10 days to mature, but it's still kind of the start. So this will probably be the last of my beans. But I think this is going to get me loads of money, just having a ton of beans. There's loads of other decent things here too, which is nice. I did look at a video of the most valuable crops, but I can't remember. Though I do think like these crops that grow multiple times are generally a good idea if you have them near the start of the season. And it's still only the fifth. Oh look at all these wonderful forage. So much, really. It's great. Wouldn't expect there to be this much forage. Ooh, there's another daffodil. Aren't I doing well today? Lucky me. Oh my god, there's so much. Am I just not been paying attention before or is there a lot more today? I've probably just not been paying attention before. That's just amazing. Look at all this stuff that can get me an okay um, little boost of money. Which is always nice because it's still going to be a while till everything's grown. Okay. I mean, my parsnips grew and I'm kind of finished with those now. So let's... Where do I want to plant these? I think I'm going to continue planting them out this way because I don't want to really plant them there. I don't mean it because you can't access them if they're in the middle. But I've got quite a few, so I need seven, seven long. One, two, three. No, there was something I could turn on so I could actually tell where I was going to hit. So there we go. Three, four. Oh, just one left. There we go. Perfect. Let's just um, get rid of this extra bit there. And we just need to water everything, but first we have to fill up an empty watering can. I will do some watering, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, watering, and I was thinking about the crops and how, and how, um, that I might want to buy some more, but I think what I'll do with the money I've got from foraging today is save up for the backpack. And what I'm going to do now is put away a few things that I'm definitely not going to need. I might need that when out foraging, so I have a bit more inventory space. I think that should be good. There we go, just because I don't have the backpack yet. There we go. That should help me a little. And I think we're going to go down to the kind of river area and see what we can find and have a good forage and see if we can... I think we're already foraging level 2. We might be able to level up our foraging even more. Ooh, a boarded up house. What's this doing here? So you're just having a bit of an explore. What a bit of fun. It looks abandoned, really. I wonder if that's any part of the storyline later. So I kind of want to go across to the other side. I seem to remember there might be some stuff over on the other side somewhere. Here we go. Oh look, here's a thing. A spring onion. This is what I was looking for and it was talking about a load of spring onions. Look at all these spring onions. They'll get me well on the way to a bigger backpack. Which should be great. See, that's what I was looking for. A nice big patch. Oh look, a um, wild horse feathers. They're worth like 50 money. Looks like there's a locked sewer down here. Probably a good thing that it's locked. We don't really want people wandering into sewers. Let's just stand near the water. Yeah, it's definitely locked. Oh, we can't get down there to where all that rubbish is. It looks like someone's had a campfire on the beach even. Uh, I think I'll just do a bit more foraging. Okay, I've got back up to my farm. I didn't really find anything more, but I did find those spring onions that it mentioned in mentioned on the TV. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of go up to somewhere useful and clear out a bit more land so I have a nice clear patch over here. And also so we can have more wood because there was like a bridge we could do. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm going to chop down some trees because there's like a bridge by the beach that needed 500 or so wood. At least I think that's how much it was, because we still got loads of energy, and it's still only kind of mid-afternoon even. Well, it's a bit late afternoon, but it's not quite evening yet, so, you know, we still got quite a while to chop down things. And we're getting seeds and stuff, which we can sell as well, because I want to try and get 2,000 to buy that backpack, because having more inventory space would be very nice, I think. Look at all this wood. How nice. Although we have only got 33 from chopping down about two trees. But slowly clearing out your farm scent that has to be done at some point, so just do a bit whenever you have nothing else to do, really. Not really much point in mining at this late stage of the day, is there? Okay, my energy bar started to complain, so I might just clear out a few of these grasses. 
and make my way back up and remember to put my stuff out to sell. And look, the light's fading as well, so we've got some pretty nice timing. I've still got a few energy, so I'll just use those up, I think. Okay, that's probably a good point to finish. So let's just put all this wonderful stuff we've got. I think we want to keep stone, but we can put, and probably wood, but we can put all these in and these and all our lovely things to sell. Right, put that wood away. We've got 267, we've got a few stone. That's nice, we can take our stuff back now. That's great, and let's go have a look at the TV, see if it tells us anything useful about tomorrow. Weather report. It's going to rain all day, that's nice. That's actually a good thing. It means I don't have to water my crops and I can get straight up mining. It's a good thing. Ah, I sense that a new viewer has joined us. Spirits are happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Isn't that good? We all like good fortune. I think that means you get better fish. Level 1 farming. Yay! Plus 1 watering can proficiency. Plus 1 hoe proficiency. New recipe scarecrow. New recipe basic fertilizer. Oh, look at all this foraging. 380 from all this forage. That's good. 443. Now, I'm not going to spend that in more crops. I'm going to kind of try to save up a little bit in order to in order to get towards that backpack because we do have a decent amount of beams at the moment and I want to go mining today and a new backpack would really be nice because I have almost no inventory space at all so I'm going the long way around to the mine by the looks of it accidentally but maybe I find some forage on the way that can give me energy when I'm in the mine you know like some little horseradish or anything maybe because if I find some of those, I should be able to eat them while I'm in the mine to top up this rather small energy bar, I believe. Rather heavy rain. But, I mean, farmers, I guess, like rain because they have to water the crops. Right, I am at the mine. I had a bit of wander around to find some more forage, but all I found was this one leak. Which just gave me 40 energy, so it's not completely useless, but... I would have liked to find have found a bit more than that. Ooh, what's this over here? This is a broken bridge. Oh, here we go. That's perfect. A wild horse reddish. Another 13 energy. Not quite as good, but it does boost my health as well, which is probably useful against monsters I find, find down in the mines. So I guess we go into here and have a look. We have to reach level 5 to get a thing. So I guess we start by... There doesn't appear to be anything that's obviously... And we're also going to just mine up some rocks and see what we get. There we go. Just loads of rocks down here. I guess that's because we're only one level deck from one level in. We haven't really gone very far. Oh, look, there's the ladder. We can get down again. Level two already. What's that giving us? A geode. Now, I know we can take those to, yeah, the blacksmith. That's good. I might do that, but I think it costs a bit of money. Maybe I'll do that, depending on when, how, how late it is when I finish my mining. There appears to be something here. Some kind of ore. Quartz. Nice. Nothing in that one. That's a shame. How about this one? Um, something. How much health? Yeah, I can eat to this leak. Yes, this wild horse radish. There we go. Inventory space restored, and I got a cave carrot. And that's going to help me help me last longer as well. That's good. I want to try and get down to level five. Nice music in this mine as well. Let's see if we can find a ladder to get us further down, shall we? Inventory full. Ah, oh, that is a problem. I shouldn't have brought my brought all these tools with me, should I? Ah, uh, well, I have. 219, so, so I can eat like I can eat this cave carrot, I think, safely without wasting anything. Okay, okay what have I done now? There we go. Okay, there. I can eat this cave carrot. Yes, inventory management, a bit of a pain. But I've got a copper ore. I think you need a few of those to make a copper bar, which you can use to make into interesting and useful things. Now I don't think the um, ladder's in any set location, I think it just kind of has a chance to spawn each time you break a rock. Which is probably a good way of doing it, otherwise you could end up... Uh, 
on a particular level for a very long time. Let's try and break this big rock. I think we might get a decent amount of stone out of it. It should always be good. Big rock takes a while to mine. There we go. Ooh, more quartz. We love quartz, don't we? Level 3 out of 5. That's not too bad. I'm just trying to get to level 5 today. Oops. Stone in that one. What's going to be in this one? Another geo. That's good. That's something. Right, we can eat this. Yes. An amethyst. That sounds good. Anything else I can get rid of? Um, I don't really know. Not really, because I shouldn't have brought all this stuff with me. I guess a single copper ore isn't going to be that good to us, so... There we go. I just want to get down to level 5, not much further. Let's pick up all this quartz. Can we eat quartz? No. Of course you can't eat quartz. Why would you be able to eat quartz? Quartz. How do you even say that? Quartz. Ha 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 ha. I found the ladder, let's get down to level 4. What's going to be of excitement in this level? I see some more quartz. She's always good. Ooh, the music's changed. There seems like some copper ore there, but I'm not really going for ore today because I don't have any inventory space. I'm just kind of exploring random little things. I do realise the main point of mine is to get of mining is to get ore, but I have a few interesting things instead. So I'm sure it's all fine. Because that's just going to give us copper ore, isn't it? It's good that we're having things that are actually showing us copper ore now. Come on, give me a ladder. I've got one more level to go. There we go. Level 5, I did the journal. What's that going to give us? Reach level 40 is the next thing. Oh, we've got an elevator, so now we can skip down to this level. And there's a slime. That's new. That's very new. Oh god, this sword is rubbish. It takes a lot of hits to kill anything. Well, I think that since our inventory is pretty full already, we might as well head up. I know we've still got plenty of energy, but we can always spend that cutting down trees, which is always a useful thing to do. So that will take us up to the top. What's this? Out of order. That's what it is. And I think that maybe we can get down to the blacksmith now and see if he can cut up open, open our geodes. But I'm not sure if he closes at 3 or 5. If he closes at 3, we're not going to make it. If he closes at 5, we probably will. But I will just walk down through the village to the blacksmith. Okay, I think the blacksmith's around here somewhere. So if we just head up. Yes, here he is. He's open. Good. Can you do anything for me? How much are you upgrading tools? Oh, it's a lot to upgrade your watering can and stuff. And you'll want to be upgrading your watering can on a rainy day. So can you process geos? 25 for geode. I'll do that. There we go. I don't have enough room. Uh, I may be able to go to this place and donate some things to it, I think. That's how it works. Oh, another cutscene. This weird guy. Nice music. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Yeah, it's a rather empty museum, isn't it? That's kind of a bit of a boring museum if it's completely empty. I think. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable, it's very old. I'd love to study in this in greater detail, but it's yours. Hmm, I've got a favour to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artefacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. That sounds good. I should be able to know some few things now. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Sounds good to me. Okay, let's donate. Donate to the museum. He can have this. This can go like here because it looks like that. We can have this. I can only give him one of those. And he can have this. There we go. Hopefully he likes them. What's this? Here's the mayor. The library is one of Pelican Town's greatest features. It's funded with taxes we collect from the local businesses. There's a book missing here. That's not good. Let's go read about what we've collected, shall we? Amethyst, a purple variant of quartz. 
Quartz clear crystal comes found in caves and mine. Topaz fairly common but still prized for its beauty. That's good and we should be able to sell the rest. Let's have a look. If the blacksmith is still open he should be able to crack open a few geodes for us. Which would be nice of him. But I don't know if he's still open. No, he closed at 4. So maybe I should have gone to him before examining our things. But oh well, it's not the end of the world. So I don't know. Do I want... To, if I get there in time, I think I might want to quickly buy a few more seeds since, you know, there's not much point hanging onto their money. It'd be faster to just have the f money making me more money through seeds. But I think this closes in 10 minutes. Let's see if we can make it in time. 450. There we go, I made it. So what do we want to buy? What looks good? I think potatoes are quite cool. Hmm, yeah. Potatoes seem cool. Let's have it, let's plant a field of a small field of potatoes, because I think if it's making us money, but you know those potatoes would, would be grown by the time I have two thousand money anyway. So as long as it's making us money, it's all fine. So it's getting kind of late, but we still have plenty of energy, so we still can do quite a bit. We did make it down to level five, but we forgot to put all our random tools away first, so we didn't have any inventory space, which was a small problem but at least we don't have to water our potatoes today let's just place them in this nice little field here shall we there we go and put our geodes away let's get our stone out and see if we can make many more paths here we go we can just turn it on as paths it will be useful there we go let's put this for selling before we forget about it i'm sure it must be worth something right and build a few more paths around the place. There we go. And I think up and around here to this path. And we'll save the rest of our paths for well when we have more places we want a path, I guess. But we're just going to chop down some more wood because I will I would like to see what's on the other side of that bridge. So I'm just going to do that with my remaining energy today because I still have quite a bit of energy, which is great. Okay, we're kind of low on energy now. I've got a bit more wood, cleared some more space around our farm, which is always good. Okay, let's try and get that down to like exactly zero energy. There we go. Good. Let's sell the random extra stuff. And we've got 88 wood, so that's not too bad. Today we're going to do some mining, we planted some potatoes, and we've got some more wood, so... I think none of that's pretty none of that's too shabby. 355 wood. I can't remember how much we needed. It's, it's quite dark in here. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? Clear and sunny. Oh, that's not too good. Well, I mean, it really would make more sense to look at the my luck, which was neutral today at the start of the day. So maybe I should watch TV at the start of the day. Level two foraging. I unlocked the survival burger. How much money have I got? 60 from some sap. 75 from some quartz, that's not worth too much, and 22 from some acorns and some fibres. So that's all very good. So thank you for watching this probably episode 3 of Stardew Valley. We've gone through another two days and knocked a few things. We got a lot of, um, we got a lot of beans. So thank you everybody for watching and goodbye.